guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video bit of a random time to start a video it's currently a saturday night it's quarter past seven i've just dropped jordan and his friend off at the pub because they won the football so they were raring to go and i'm just having a nice chilled relaxing night to myself and to be honest i'm excited about it i've got some nice food and I was going to start vlogging tomorrow and do a little Sunday vlog, but I thought, you know what, I'm chilling by myself tonight, why not bring you guys along and we can just chill together. So, to start off this lovely, chilled, relaxing night, I'm going to have my first bath in the house. This is monumental. Monumental? Monumentous. Mon it, I don't know, but it's my first bath in the house, okay? So, let me show you the little setup because I've got a cute little side bath setup. So, you would have seen in the last vlog, I picked up this marble tray from H&M Home and this is how I've styled it. This is the little Zara Home stool that I picked up and I've just popped on here a neon candle which I'm going to light straight away. And then I've just styled this up with a few of my favourite little bath bits. So, we've got a body brush, we've got the Laura Mercier honey bath which I've not tried yet so I'm going to try this for the first time and I'm really excited. Got some Esper oil there, some Jo Malone products which I actually got in the advent calendar and a little soap but I think that looks really cute and then on my bath tray I mentioned in another vlog I actually ordered a white company bath tray but it still hasn't came and I'm having a bit of an issue with it. I had to ring customer service. Basically, because I ordered it as a pre-order, I don't know if I've told you the story, but basically, I ordered it as pre-order. It still hasn't arrived, but it's in stock on the website and stock was due on like the 21st of Feb. It's now early March. So I rang customer service to ask what was going on and they said it had been dispatched, but still hasn't came. So I'm hoping it comes early next week because it's like a wood effect, like the door and like the stool so I feel like it'll tie it all in the white one doesn't really go anymore but yeah this is my little bath setup I'm gonna make this really cozy I'm gonna go and get a glass of wine and I'm gonna relax and watch a YouTube video in the bath and I'm very excited I've actually got this mini bottle of Whispering Angel how cute is that you can just get these from M&S um so I've got that so I'm gonna open her is it screw top it is love that and I'm going to have a glass of her in the bath for my little solo night in. out the bath we have got our cozy pajamas on which are really creased because i've just had to get them out of a case which i haven't even unpacked yet but of course i'm wearing jim jam my collection with them these are the best quality pajamas i own they're so thick they're so comfortable they're so luxurious i just love them so i'm having this pizza from mns this is their wood fired pizza and you can get like this small one which is perfect for one person jordan always gets the big one and i always get this and it is delicious i'm then gonna have this little side salad and i kept a pair of ears from the other day because i only ate one so that is gonna be a delicious combo i'm gonna top this up and is that my little boy there come downstairs and relax with mummy come on hello darling you've been 
been sleeping, haven't you? Yes, you've been sleeping. Me and Colby are going to get very cosy in there and watch a film. Should we get you a treaty? Let's go get you a treaty for our little night in. Come on. Okay, I'm going to decide what to watch while my food is in the oven. Our new TV comes tomorrow, so we just put this one up temporarily um, to give us something to watch TV on over the past few days. This is actually the one from our bedroom, so we've had to just put it on and it looks so small because this wall is quite a big space. Um, so we've got a bigger TV coming tomorrow, which I'll show you when it arrives, because Jordan will probably want to put it up straight away. Oh, who's watched Sex Life? I watched the new Ginny and Georgia, because I haven't watched that yet, and that's quite a feel-good, easy on your own watch, you know? I don't want to watch anything scary. Okay, yes, I'm going to watch Ginny and Georgia. You know, like, when you're in a new house, and, like, there's new sounds... By the way, my camera's definitely broke because that is so zoomed in. Unless I hold it back there, but that's like how I usually hold it and that looks really zoomed. Um, yeah, I'm in a new house and every time I hear a noise, I'm like, what is that? And realistically, it's just the wind or the pipes and I'm like, so on edge. There's my timer. So yeah, I need to watch something not scary or I'll freak myself out when Jordan's out the house. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yum. And there is my yummy little Saturday night dinner for a gorgeous self-care night to myself. package arrived and I wanted to show you what's in it because you can get loads of really good coffee table books from Amazon and this was the first one that I got I just thought she was cute the sun today is really shining through it's gorgeous and um, so yeah just this one which I loved I then got this Vogue one which is a little bit bigger this is probably going to go under there or on the top. And then finally, I got this Tom Ford one. I've wanted this for ages. It's so big and so heavy. And I think it's such a good, like, coffee table piece. And I think I'm going to put this on the top and style it up. I'm going to have a little play now. My mum and dad are coming around in 15 minutes. So I'll have a quick little play. And our TV also arrived. Let me show you. She's big. I mean... She's a big girl. I think Jordan's going to see if my dad will help him put it on the wall today while they're here. So I'll show you once it's up. Up, down, on the road. I've been around the floor, rooftop. 
cupboard and fridge essentials like sauces and bits and bobs like when I'm doing the shop I'm just like chucking so much in also obviously we had my mum and dad and my grandma and granddad around today and I didn't have any biscuits to give them with a the cup of tea and I hated that so I stocked up on lots of biscuits and I stocked up on lots of like healthy snacks like when I'm trying to be a little bit more healthy like the fibre ones and the squares and stuff Stocked up on them, literally got so much. I got, like, again, just cupboard essentials, like chopped tomatoes, tuna, um, stocked up on some sauces, Nando's, sriracha, sweet chili, soy, Nando's, jam, tomato, etc., etc. My favourite porridge for breakfast. Got some frozen blueberries, some frozen mangoes, and then three different flavours of Little Moon. So, creamy coconut passion fruit and mango and golden blonde chocolate which I haven't tried yet so I'm excited to try them and yeah it was a good successful shop I picked up a new chopping board because we need just an everyday chopping board not like a decorative one and also a shower squeegee you make me wanna be with somebody doing things that up from Tesco it was £22 and it's just like a little wood bathroom like caddy thing I'm in a bit of a predicament of what to do in here so basically obviously this is what the sink looks like I would like ideally like built-in drawers but I don't like the ones that you buy and like the wooden ones that you put under like I like things to look built in and bespoke if that makes sense so I don't really know what to do can anyone recommend any companies to building like a bespoke shelf unit situation because the thing is we've got this big mirror here so it's not even like we can do like a mirrored cabinet or anything we wanted this to be one big mirrored wall so it's gonna have to be underneath yeah let me know if anyone has any recommendations but for now i'll just pick this up so that we have somewhere to put our bits and bobs and i'm just gonna put it there and i think that's actually the perfect little spot for it good morning guys happy monday I know it was going to be a little weekend vlog, but I feel like I didn't vlog as much as I was going to. So we'll continue into Monday. It's a fresh week. I've just had, you know, those showers, girls, where you wash your hair, you exfoliate, you shave everywhere and you come out feeling like a new woman. That is the type of shower that I just had. And God knows I needed it because, you know, when you're moving house, there's dust everywhere there's just stuff everywhere we haven't even got carpets in these rooms this is like an underlay obviously um and I really needed a good pamper so I've just 
applied product through my hair and I'm just letting it air dry just because I'm just in the house today so to prevent putting heat on it I'm just letting it air dry and to be honest it's drying really quickly so that's good um I've just put some tan on my face and a little bit of lip balm and that is me for the day outfit of the day is just a nice comfy fit so I've got this Zara ribbed tank top on I really love the fit of this I've got some another version black leggings which are some of my faves and my gym jam my collection with um oversized cardigan this is the nicest cardi ever but look at the material it's like a teddy boucle material and my ugg slippers on the underlay funny story about the underlay so obviously we're just waiting for the carpets to be delivered for in here and my mum came to the house yesterday and i took her in jordan's office downstairs which has the same underlay down um, the carpets we're getting in these rooms are the same as the living room one, which you've already seen. So it's just like a cream, like a fluffy carpet. And my mum went, oh, that's an interesting carpet choice. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, yeah, you can really get loads of different ones, can't you? And I could tell she was thinking, what on earth is that carpet? Because obviously, I mean, look at it. It doesn't really match the rest of the house. And I was like, mm-hmm. And I could tell by her face. And then I was like, ma'am, that's underlay. Like, of course I haven't picked that as a carpet. She was like, oh my God, thank God, Dionna didn't know what to say because I was thinking, what on earth? I was like, well, I would have expected you to tell me the truth, babe, because you are my mum, so don't be shady. It's a heart actually thinking that that was the carpet. I can't cope. Although it's better than the concrete floor. At least we can walk around on it. Do you know what I mean? Paneling is starting today, so hopefully by the end of today i'll be able to show you a little update we're getting paneling in a few of the rooms and up the stairs and the hallway um so he should be here soon but yeah i'll bring you along on any updates i'm going to try and do some more unpacking there's loads of stuff in the garage that we haven't even made a start on yet like boxes for my dressing room boxes for bathrooms there's all sorts so i'm gonna work my way through and just have another productive week and hopefully by the end of this week there's plenty more updates it is monday evening i have some big updates for you all i haven't really vlogged throughout the day because we've had workmen in and honestly the thought of whipping the camera out in front of workmen doing work in my house i just can't imagine if i was like can i just do a little time lapse if you doing that they'd probably be like what is going on so first update is that paneling has started it's been done in the kitchen and it's halfway through jordan's office tomorrow is going to be one of the bedrooms upstairs and the hallway and that's the only rooms we're getting paneling in at the minute and the other update is that our dining table has arrived which i have been so excited about is my town dodgy I put tan on my face this morning. I feel like it looks dodgy. I look rough. Let's just look past it. Let me show you my dining table. I am obsessed. Oh my God. Honestly, this is my dream dining table. To have a black wood, really chunky. Look at the, like, the grain and the detail in it. Oh my God. It is just stunning. And you... When we were like designing this kitchen and planning it all, I knew, excuse all the cardboard there, I knew that I wanted a big statement table here because when you walk through, one minute, when you walk through into the house, you see the table and it's such a statement piece and we obviously had this dark console table and I just thought it would look lovely and I found this one. And I was really stressed that it was going to be too big because the original measurements that I took to have for a dining table was a lot smaller than this. And when I found this, I was like, look, can we make it work? Hope and Jordan would say yes. And we measured it up, put the thing on the floor. And thankfully we were like, do you know what? Yes, it's going to work. And we are going to change this room eventually. We're thinking of extending it. There's a couple of things we want to do. So I was like, look, let's get the bigger one because we're gonna be in this house for a long time and I didn't wanna outgrow it. So this can, seat, this can sit up to 12 people, I think. Four on each side, two on each end, but to be fair, you could definitely get two on the end. 
For now, I've ordered six seats. So I was gonna do three on this side and three on this side. Hopefully they'll come this week and I'll show you it all. And hopefully our bar stools come this week. That will be amazing. But yeah, this is the dining table. I'll leave a link down below. It's from a company called Shropshire Designs, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's where it's from, but I'll leave it linked anyway down below. And this little moss ball, which I don't know if it's just Jordan being a man, but he was like, what is that? And I was like, babe, it's interior. So I was looking everywhere for a moss ball and they were so expensive. Like, we're talking hundreds for a nice moss ball. So I found this like wooden ball on Etsy for like 30 quid. And then I found this moss also on Etsy for like a fiver. So I've now made my own little moss ball and I think she looks cute if I do say so myself. I just feel like this will really come to life when the dining chairs are in. I just can't wait. We've also ordered a light for this and for the one in the hallway, which will tie it all in. And as you can see, we also have the paneling in here. So we've gone for kind of like a feature wall on this back wall ignore the paint samples which i'm trying to now cover um yeah we decided to go for a feature wall here so we've got two smaller panels on the outside and then one bigger one here i've also just ordered some art to go in here and we're gonna have a little picture light so i feel like that will look really nice and tomorrow i'm gonna crack on painting these priming them and getting this wall all just white because at least then this room will feel finished i don't think we'll keep it white but for now so that we're not just having these like wooden pieces of wood on the wall it'll just look a little bit more put together so that is what i'm going to probably do tomorrow so i will of course vlog that i do want to keep it white in here because i think with the gray kitchen and the dark table and the wood i think keeping it white and bright is the best thing to do i think it'll look really nice but it's just finding the right one like obviously i did the paint samples and i did these colors and they're just a bit dark i think like i love this and i love this for like the hallway or bedrooms but i just think for the kitchen when we've got a light gray like cupboards i just think it'll be too much i want to keep it bright and fresh um but yeah let me know if you like the table because I love it so much and I just think it fits the space perfectly. Like if I'm stood here, look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful. I can't wait for this room to just all come together. Good morning, guys. What a rare sighting on the vlogs recently. Me with my hair actually done and makeup on. This morning when I got up, I just thought, I wanna make a bit of an effort today. I've got places that I need to be. I've got a meeting with um, the people who are going to be doing my wardrobes and I just thought, do you know what, I've wore gym clothes and had my hair in a bun pretty much every day for the past two weeks. I just want to make a little bit of effort. But you know sometimes just a little bit of makeup makes the world a difference. It just makes you feel so much better. Um, we woke up to snow this morning. I'm ready for spring so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but I've just popped two B&Q to pick up some bits because I'm going to start painting this paneling because I'm an, I'm an impatient girl. We are getting a painter out to do like the rest of the house and like up the stairs and stuff. We painted our old house ourselves and we did an okay job but in places like staircases and stuff where it's really hard I'm just I'd rather get a professional. However I'm pretty certain I can paint this back wall a nice shade of white. If I can't do that something's seriously gone wrong. So I just picked up some frog tape, paint and essential. Some more paint brushes. We've got a lot in the garage anyway with like rollers and stuff like that. So I just got them in case I needed extra. I got some quick dry wood primer undercoat, which I did a lot of online research last night about what to use over the paneling before I paint it. And a lot of people were saying that this is the best. Don't know if that's true or not but it's what i'm gonna try and give it a go and then the color that i've picked up for the wall and you might have saw and you can kind of maybe still see now 
that I did some samples on the wall. Oh, they're there as well. I haven't painted them ones off yet. So I did some samples on the wall and I didn't like any of them because they were too dark and I've now decided I want to keep it quite white in here. I think I said that yesterday because the kitchen's grey. Um, we had this conversation yesterday, didn't we? We had this conversation yesterday. Um, so I decided to stick with white and the only white that I really liked was this one called Timeless. It's actually just a white um, and it's pretty similar to what the room is painted already. So I'm just going to do the back wall so that the panelling all matches in. Um, and then hopefully it doesn't look too different to the other walls. And if it does, I'll just paint them as well. But ideally, I'd just like to paint the back wall for now. And then when we get a painter, he can do the more intricate bits around the rest of the kitchen. Because I don't want to ruin anything. Um, but yeah, that's my plan for today. I'm going to crack on painting this morning. I've got some emails and stuff to do and some little bits and bobs to order. Um, the panelling guys are coming, well, they should be here in the next five minutes. And then this afternoon, we've got a meeting with my wardrobe designers to go through wood colours, lighting, really exciting bits and bobs. Honestly, guys, it looks like so good. I'm so excited for that. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. Sunday today and a lot happened since the last time I vlogged which was me painting the panelling so let me show you first update is we now have carpet everywhere praise the lord however majority of them look like this I've had to borrow my mum's hoover because I still can't find the charger for mine and I can't live like this anymore. So I was literally just hoovering this room and I was like, let me just update the vlog because I realized I haven't in a while. Look at that sun, gorgeous. Um, so I don't know if I've shown you this, but we've gone for this like her and bone wool style carpet on the upstairs hallway. And then this is gonna go into a runner down the stairs, um, but we need the painter to come and paint the stairs. And we've left this until we get deliveries because we've got quite a few deliveries coming. Um, which is stuff that needs fitted, like my wardrobes, like our bed. So we thought, let's just leave that because they're probably going to get really dirty. And we thought, let's leave that and be the last thing. We also have the panelling done in the hallway, as you can see. And it's all downstairs as well, which I'll show you when we go down. But looking gorgeous. Can't wait to get that painted. We obviously, like I said, have carpets now everywhere. So this is our current bedroom. It's literally just a mattress on the floor because our bed hasn't been delivered yet. That's coming in like early April. So we're just mattressing on the floor. However, the room that has made the most progress is our guest room, which is currently looking like this. I need some new lampshades, which I'm gonna go and get today because these are just too yellow for the vibe in here um but we've got these little pictures and lights up there which they're definitely not straight because i did them but you know it's fine and then we've got our old bed so our old bed is now our guest bed and we've got all new bedding um this is from dusk needs a 
steam because obviously it's really creased because I've just took it out of the packaging and it's been washed but um really lovely really love dusk bed and it's one of my faves and that's where this is from and these pillows which we had in the old house which I always got questions about so they're from dusk as well the cushion cover for this one is in the washing machine because it needed a freshen up but it's feeling really nice in here very good progress we've now got somewhere for guests to stay when they come and yeah i'm happy we're thinking maybe like doing something on the back wall i don't know what some sort of panel and maybe i'm gonna get like a side table with a mirror so that we can like get dressed in here if anyone stays over but yeah that's the update in there hello little boy are you okay today on this lovely sunday my special little egg this room is a hot mess right now because I've brought more stuff and unboxed some stuff and it's just a mess. This is obviously my dressing room. It's yet to undergo a transformation which is happening in April so I'm just going to live like this for now but I've brought my other rail from my mum and dad's which is in the car. I'm going to put that up today so that I can get a little bit more of an orderly fashion going on. I did organise this last week and it was really functional and looked really clean but then I've had more stuff come and I've unboxed more stuff and now it's a hot mess but we're going to deal with this. And then in terms of downstairs you can kind of see the panel in here, we're going to get a big mirror for in there. This is Jordan's office which is also being panelled, excuse the ironing board. Jordan is getting a new desk but He's just put that there for now to um, have somewhere to sit and work. Also, our artwork has arrived. So this is from Mala Art. Um, I am obsessed. It is gorgeous. We need to put that on the wall. And I've ordered a picture light to come off the top of it. It's going to go in the middle of this panel here. And I just love the colours. I think it's beautiful. It's such good quality. It comes with this black frame. And we went for the size 3040. So I'll leave that link down below. And we've also got loads of gorgeous flowers. So these were from the people that did our flooring. And then Jordan's dad just came and we've got these and Easter eggs and champagne. So I am gonna put these in this vase. We actually had our friends round yesterday and went for dinner. So that was really nice. It was nice to actually get dressed up because I feel like I haven't worn makeup or got dressed up in a while. Um, so it's nice to actually make a bit of an effort. And today I'm going to crack on tidy in the house. I'm going to do some room washing. I'm going to go and do a food shop for the week. Just a nice wholesome Sunday. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you There they are looking gorgeous on our coffee table I love having fresh flowers in the house. They're just so nice. There's not really any progress in here. I mean, that TV. Jordan insisted in having that TV. But this is going to be obviously on the wall, shelves, fireplace, media wall. That's going to be happening in the next few weeks. So, of course, I'll bring you along on the transformation. My new couches should also be coming next week, I think. Actually, what's the date? Is it this week or next week? It's this week. That has came around so quick. I can't believe we're literally like mid-March right now. What the hell? So probably in the next vlog, you'll see the couches. I really need to stop coming on the vlogs looking like this, but I just, I know it's a no judgment zone. And I feel like I can come on with a hair mask in, with fake tan on, 
and you guys just understand don't you just having a glass of water out my gorgeous little zara glass that i absolutely love with my little glass straws and i'm actually just editing this vlog i am just jumping on to end this vlog because as always i'm sat editing it and realized that i haven't ended it because i've been filming these vlogs like over well since we moved in i just keep filming continuously and then when a vlog gets a bit too long i end it and start a new one but i've just been vlogging continuously so i never know when a vlog's actually going to end at this point but this one is ending here and in the next one you're going to see the new couches they're not here yet but they're coming in two days so you'll see it in next week's vlog but I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the moving vlogs. Let me know if you are. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And as always, we will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye.